Well, a lot of you might be aware that you can run Windows on the latest uh, Mac uh, computers and laptops. Well, how can you run it better? We've got Jeremy Spruston with us today. He's our resident Mac expert. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, Mike. So people, a lot of people should know anyway that you can run Windows. Uh, you use a feature called Boot Camp, but you basically have to choose when you're booting up the system whether you want to run Mac or Windows. Yeah, that's right. So when you restart your computer, start up your computer, you can select from either side, uh, but that doesn't allow you to a function in the other side at the same time. Well, we're going to have a look at something called Parallels Desktop version 4 uh, for the Mac. And this is kind of a cool program because you can install it on your Mac and you can run Windows. Of course, you have to have a, a copy of Windows that you've installed onto the system, but you can run them at the same time. That's right, yeah. So you can, uh, you can boot up Parallels and, and you can interact between both sides. So the Windows side integrates very well into the Mac side, and so you can operate back and forth. So we've got that up here. We've got the Mac desktop, and then we've got the Windows. We're running Windows 7, but you can run pretty well any version of Windows or Linux or anything. Essentially, it creates a partition with a version of Windows on that side of your hard drive, and you could run XP or run Vista, or you could run both at the same time. It really, you know, it's up to you. What's the speed like, though, working from... Uh, I mean, the speed is sufficient. It's not as strong as something like boot camp. You probably get about 85, 90% of what you would normally get. But just isn't bad. Yeah, and if you're surfing the web or if you're doing uh, Word documents or, you know, basic computer functions, it'll serve you just fine. Can you configure different amounts of RAM and hard drive space for the, do yep. for the two different Yep, so if systems? you go into the configuration menu, you can bring up your memory options, your CPU options, your video card options. You know, you can divide it between the two sides and, and decide how much RAM the Windows side is getting and how much RAM the Mac side is getting. And so uh, for the hard drive side, you have to partition uh, your, your hard drive, basically giving part of your hard drive to the Mac and part of it to Windows. Yeah, but the Parallels desktop install is, it's, it's really easy to use. When I installed it the first time, it was so easy, it, it almost tricked me. Uh, I, I, I went back <laughs> and I had to do it again because it was, it was so simple. All the partition stuff, partition can be a scary word, uh, it really takes care of all that stuff for you. And then one of the great features is it will use what's called an expanding drive. And so as you use more space on your hard drive, it will increase the amount of hard drive allocated. Automatically. Those. Automatically. Well, it's kind of a cool feature because I've partitioned stuff before. And typically when you hit that wall, when you run out of space, you run out of space, you yeah. got to repartition things. So this yeah. does it automatically. Yes, uh, totally automatically. And so what are some of the other ways you can look at the desktops here? Uh, so right now we've got it in windowed mode. It almost tricks you into thinking you're running Windows normally. You can't see your Mac desktop at all in a full screen mode. One of the coolest features, I think, about Parallels is you can run it in what's called coherence. And it will bring up your Windows taskbar down at the bottom, and it's it's almost like they're just one big operating system. Or so. it's really confused. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got, you got the, the Mac bar up here like normal, and then you've got the Windows taskbar down here yeah, as yeah. well. So you can access your, uh, your Windows taskbar, your start menu, just like you normally would. All your applications are there. So what do you use it for? I do a lot of uh, graphics work and a lot of video work, and there's some applications that can only be found on the Windows side. And I can open up an application in Windows almost seamlessly. And so you can even put Windows shortcuts to programs right on the Mac desktop. That's as well. right, yeah. So we've got the Internet Explorer shortcut here, and if we double click the on Windows that. Windows version. That's right, the Windows version. Yeah. And then it just automatically pops up here. Yeah, it'll open up Internet Explorer, the Windows version. And you can do that with any program. Any, any, program. any program, any program and any file. What about all the hardware? You know, you've got a webcam built in here. You know, you hook in USB devices and stuff like that. Do they work fairly well? together? Something like an iPod or a webcam, they're really seamless. One of the new features is it will share that device on both sides. So it'll install the drivers on both sides. Yeah, that's right. Well, thanks for uh, joining us on the show. Thanks for having me, Mike. Better way to do Windows on a Mac instead of using Boot Camp, have a look at uh, Parallels Desktop version 4 for the, uh, the Mac operating system.